Okay, so in this section we have some new formulas that we're introducing. We have some double angle formulas and we have some half angle formulas. So these are all the same ones that are uh, in your notes. So you want to make sure you have these uh, written down or noted um, because we're going to be referring to these uh, in the future examples we're doing in this section. So given these, I want to show you first of all where these actually come from in the first place. It's actually going to uh, be using a formula we just talked about before, section before this one we talked about the, or previously we talked about the sum and difference formulas. We're going to use sum and difference formulas uh, in order to break this one down. What we'll do is we're going to turn the sine 2 theta into theta plus theta. And because we have this, this is a form of sine of x plus y, and in the previous uh, session when I talked about the sum and difference formulas, I mentioned that sine of x plus y equals sine x cosine y plus cosine x sine y. We're going to use that on this particular question here. So in this case, x and y are both going to be theta. So I have sine x or sine theta cosine y, which would be uh, cosine theta since my theta is a y here also. Uh, and then we have plus cosine x or cosine theta and then sine y or sine theta. So we get this once we, so again this is just using the the formula, the sum, sum and difference formulas, we're using it particularly for sine. Now we're going to simplify this. So theta plus theta that goes back to our sine 2 theta again and then if we put these two things together we have a 1 in front of here and a 1 in front of there that gives you two of them so you have two sine theta, cosine theta, and there's going to be our first identity we've proven and we've shown where that one comes from. Now I'm going to do the same thing down here for cosine 2 theta. Again I'm going to do cosine of theta plus theta and then that's cosine x plus y. That formula uh, is going to be cosine cosine minus sine sine. So cosine x cosine y minus sine x sine y. So for that we're going to do uh, cosine x or cosine theta and then we have uh, cosine y, that's going to be theta also because that's our y value. And then we have minus, because that's the formula we're using there. And then we have uh, sine x, sine y, so we have sine theta and sine theta here since, since again x and y are both going to be theta. When we simplify this, we get cosine 2 theta equals cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta. So that's our other identity that's going to be uh, complete here. So that's that's the idea. I'm not going to show you the how the rest of them are derived. I just wanted to show you just the first two just so you can get an idea where they're coming from, but uh, primarily these are coming from your sum and difference formulas. So now that we've taken a look at where they come from, we're familiar with the formulas themselves, we're going to do a couple examples on this. Now the, the next example that I'm going to look at is actually a pretty long example. It has a lot of blanks to fill in, um, but it's going to show you exactly how you would apply all these different formulas with actual numbers.